welcome. On this episode of Bumpy's Beer Review, I've got Beer Man from, from Oregon. And uh, when he came over, he brought me my wings from the, uh, the, the Wednesday uh, all spun out show. Uh, it's a nice Fort George shirt, and uh, it fits. I have a shirt that fits. It's nice. Yeah. I can raise my arms up. Um, but we got this beer that was actually gifted to us from John and Nelly, who's sitting right over there. And Sweet. it is from Treehouse, of course. Um, <laughs> this this brew is a... Uh, it's a Scotch Ale. Uh, it's a barley beer. 8.4% ABV. So it's handcrafted and can conditioned for exceptionally smooth texture. Uh, it was brewed and canned out of the uh, Charlton, Massachusetts uh, Massachusetts location for Treehouse. So let's go ahead and crack that open. Will you do the honors, beer man? I will. Let's do it now. Oh, um, oh you first. Right. Wait, let it, is that <laughs> Thank you for the water. You took the wrong glass. Okay. Oh. Oh. Come on. We do have a table. You can just pour it on the table. Oh. Not the beer on the table. I know you think, take things literally, but... I'm smart. <laughs> And there's enough oh. to go around with everybody else too, so that's it. If anybody wants in, if you have a glass, go for it. Yeah. Um, so we got uh, a little, um, kind of what, you say sudsy, off-white? Yeah, sudsy. Khaki, um, off-white, khaki, yeah. Light khaki, yeah. What would you say the color of the beer it looks <sighs> super ruby? Yeah, ruby, brown, yeah, definitely. I'm trying to, like in the nipple of it, or the reservoir? <laughs> We've got a giant light right over there. Oh yeah, that's a big one, light. Oh, hi, hi, <laughs> the, the reservoir is very brown and reddish ruby, yeah. 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 All right, let's get some let's, aromas. Cheers, bro. Cheers yeah. to aromas. All right. <laughs> From afar. Do you get like peas? <laughs> what is it with treehouse? Peas? Do you get peas? No. no. This no. smells like peas to me. Really? I get like a chocolate, uh, slight roast. Uh, the old world peas. Peas, really? Let me smell the can. Oh, there's no peas. It's it's got it smells a little bit like 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 pea soup. Or like uh. When you bust open the when you bust open the beans out of the out of the pot, yeah, and you just, you get that kind of like bean real vegetal vegetal thing, green yeah. like uh, pea. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a there is a kind of a big like breadiness to it too. Yeah, uh, a lot of like dark brown like bread crust. Sure. Anything else? Slight, uh, slight, slight, slight caramel, but a very dry caramel kind of uh, dryness in the nose. There's kind of a, like a, it kind of dries out, you know, like you're smelling it and it dries out. Hey, uh, uh, world, this is a crazy beer. Cheers. Cheers. Now we, now we cheers. Hell yeah. Let's take our first sip. Let's do it. I'm just kidding. That's kidding. Oh, 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 oh. That's kidding. That's kidding. Ah. <laughs> I actually get like chocolate espresso y kind of uh, roasted malty with a, like a little bit of hint of like uh, almost like a fruit. Um, yeah. I'm trying to figure out the fruit. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah I get like the, a lot of that still the bread crust, deep, yeah. deep brown bread crust. I think it kind of has a floral mm -hmm. kind of um, 
flavor note to it. Yeah. We didn't even read the back of the can because Treehouse always leaves a big story. Is there a good like scotch it? ale, bro? This is uh, not bad. Yeah, strong scotch ale. So it'd be a wee heavy. It's considered yeah, a wee heavy on this one. Uh, Old World is our scotch ale brewed. Oh, that's the name of the beer, Old World, I guess. Oh, oh okay. Like okay, that's good to nice. know. Um, scotch ale brewed with complex array of malts and fermented with a classic scotch ale yeast. This beer is complex and smoky. It has a, I was going to say peaty. But peaty, it's almost peaty. Peaty. Uh, peaty. Classic, yeah. sure to uh, delight lovers. Diverse flavors derived from authentic ingredients. Okay. It's got kind of a spicy, like, is the Bohemian Pilsner still killing me? Oh my god, I think. There are flavor notes on there, so. Yeah. They talk about nuttiness, caramelization, stuff like that. Definitely caramel. There's a fruit. What's the fruit? There's like a like almost an appley, um, no, maybe not apple, um, raspberry or uh, like a sour kind of fruit thing coming through. Let's just refer back to the can. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, they I, they don't mention any any fruit in this. I don't know. I, I get the smoky though. I get the smoky. There was a little smoke. Beechwood smoke or like some kind of. See, I didn't really pick up on the smoke. That's why I was surprised when I read that. But caramel and a and a, 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 a tart sweet fruit kind of thing. Like with. A, I mean, I can definitely see where you're getting like a, like a kind of fruitiness. I'm getting a. Uh... <laughs> it's got that. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> it's good. Sorry. Back to the review. Damn it. No, the it's got this like um that Scottish yeast thing, right? Yeah. Like that yeasty that you get from a. a Scottish <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the flavors come out from a yeast in Scotland, but damn it. Very Scotty like. It's Scotty. Let's name other things that would enjoy this beer. <laughs> Scottish dog. Uh, ooh. Hey, but no, I wanted to read the king. Yeah. I was sure. I was sure that they were gonna have peas on the aromas. <laughs> Sweet. So we're coming. Sorry, John, John forced us to do this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault, man. I know. I, I regret. I'm sorry. Just thought it would be fun to do solo reviews with Beer Man. My mistake. And you were right, man. Because this is fun. <laughs> Did I dribble on myself? Yeah, it, oh no! I hope no. not. You will soon enough. Damn it. Uh, so uh, you probably swatched it off. Oh, just me. This is the best one. <laughs> right, so we're we going to wrap this up because we're, we're coming up on the 10 minute mark. What would you rate this uh, Scotch Ale called the Old World? Uh, I think. From Treehouse. I think it's. Uh, this The Scottish feel comes through it. Um, it's a little different than what I've normally felt from a Scotch or a Wee Heavy. Um, but it does have some qualities of that style. Uh, I would definitely give this a, probably a 90 or an 89 out of 100. Okay. Somewhere in that range. Yeah. It's good though. It's really good. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I'd probably throw this one like in that kind of mid range, very good. Um, so basically, what that would end up being um, out of like a 50 point score would be somewhere around like a 43. So, um, yeah, so still. Kind of went close to where we were at. Totally, eight yeah. six or so out of uh, out of a hundred. Uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. I mean, I seriously did get peas out of the aromas a little <laughs> that's bit. Crazy. So, so I, that's not something I was just making yeah. making up because I pick it out of a lot of treehouse beers. So it's just something that that happens. <laughs> it's probably it's probably like a malt or something that they use that to me. I just pick up something that I like peas though. I need so too. So it's not man. yeah. 
Jeez. So. There's no bees. This, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, cheers, Spearman. Thank you for doing yeah. this with me. Cheers, Thank you for uh, yeah. uh, letting us drink your beer, John. And uh, yeah. we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, we got drunk. Oh, we got it. I love beer.